a lifetime. He's taking his <laughs> lawn chair hoisted by balloons across the Cascades. Joe Barbera plans to launch his lawn chair helium balloon aircraft tomorrow morning, and Jessica Morkert shows us the plan. It's the kind of stuff you see in movies, balloons hoisting an unlikely object into the air. For one local man, that object is not a house, it's a lawn chair. When I was about, I don't know, eight years old, I was 10 years old, I was a real hot rod guy, and I, and I wanted to set the land speed record. And when that happened, I was like so utterly disappointed because that would never, that would never happen again. Okay, so this might be my one and only chance to be famous. So. Joe Barbera is finishing up work on his lawn chair helium balloon today so he can launch from his Le Center home early tomorrow morning. So we got the craft constructed, we got it hung for the first time, so now we have to outfit it. He's tested it out before using an unmanned contraption, but this time it's real. With a long list of items including water, long underwear, and over 100 helium field weather balloons, he hopes to reach altitudes as high as 18,000 feet. If I can get to Idaho, I'm cool. It's a dream that's 30 years in the making. Barbera, who turned 60 today, says he assembled a team six weeks ago. Three weeks ago, they started building it. The biggest single challenge is going to be raising this rat's nest worth of wires with everything else attached to it. Because from here, I'm going to have lanyard, everything I own, I'm going to have tied on. The team has been working with the FAA for guidance. Barbera does not have a parachute, but does have plenty of oxygen, a radio, and a smartphone for emergencies. There's nothing really magic here. There's nothing here that hasn't been done before. There's nothing that you can't describe with math. Barbera has been on a diet for the past two weeks, so he's as light as he can possibly be before he launches from this location tomorrow morning. He's set to leave at 4.30 a.m., weather permitting, of course, and he will have a cell phone on him so he can provide the public with updates as he goes along. In Clark County, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News.